Since there are four figures supplied in the Atlantis model's 8-inch howitzer kit, I decided to hand paint all four to show how our model paints can be applied with a paintbrush. Cut any flash off the figures, sand, and clean before painting. First, I applied OD Olive Drab 1402 as the uniform color to each of the four figures. Notice that the majority of our military colors can be hand brushed as well as sprayed. This makes it easier for modelers. Cleanup of the paintbrush is easy to accomplish with acetone. Use any paintbrush you wish to use, just make sure it is solvent resistant. Do all four figures. You may add other colors to make slight variations in the olive drab as uniforms were different due to their age, exposure to the environment, sweat, and other factors. Our paints are completely miscible with each other. Flat Black TCP805 is being painted on the boots of each figure. Notice it covers the green of the molded plastic very nicely. colors that needs to be applied to each figure are the flesh tones. Since people are not all the same color, I decided to blend some of our flesh tones to create new versions to paint on each figure. Two TCP 840 flesh, which is Caucasian color, I added some flat red TCP 807 to create a suntan flesh color and in another cup I added TCP flat tan to the TCP 840 flesh to change the hue of the flesh color. I used a two ounce condiment cup for mixing the colors and a piece of sprue to do the mixing. I painted two figures with the mixtures I just made up plus a third with the original TCP 840 flesh. For the last figure, I made another mixture using TCP 840 flesh and TCP 809 dark green. Add the TCP 809 until you get a color you like and paint the last figure. Not shown is painting TCP 826 flat Pullman green on their helmets and TCP 878 flat brown leather on the pouch of one figure. You may add any colors you wish to make any flesh tone color that you want to make. The variety is unlimited.
Here we see the four figures I painted previously with the 8 inch howitzer model. You can observe the figures are a good match to the size of the scale in the howitzer and you can design a pretty neat diorama to display the artillery piece in action. All we need now are unused and spent shells around the area to give it more authenticity. If you have any questions about techniques explored in this video or general questions about this build, please post your questions in the comments section below.